Hey there, this is James Heimbuck, the product manager for the testing group in the Verify stage at GitLab. Uh, today I'm gonna to be doing a quick speed run walkthrough of the new accessibility feature uh, and doing something hopefully interesting with the resulting accessibility report that comes out of that feature. Um, so if you saw the blog post that I put up, uh, shared on Twitter a while back, talking about why we're doing uh, accessibility testing, why it's important to us so that everyone can contribute, um, hopefully you'll know what's going on. Uh, I'll share the link to this as well. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just work through our docs uh, and take an existing project that I have that serves up a static site, add the accessibility job to it, and like I said, hopefully do something interesting um, with that report. So uh, I'll share a link to the docs as well. Um, but what I'm gonna do is just do use the include template and the variables here. Uh, I also know that our template, and if we follow the link into the template, um, requires that this is in the accessibility stage which I do not have in my GitLab CI YAML yet. So that's gonna be the first change that we make. So let's go ahead and jump into the web IDE. All right, so I wanna make sure that this happens after my deploy staging. So I have an accessibility stage there. And let's include this template. And I already have the code quality template in here. I'm actually gonna just remove that uh, for the sake of speed tonight. Uh, and I'll put it back in and show that feature off as well later uh, if you link into the project. So we need that and some accessibility URLs in our variables. So this example is uh, from a Udemy course um, that I went through not long after I joined GitLab to learn a little bit about the CSCD. Uh, and what it does is, like I said, deploy a static site. Uh, I'm gonna use the review URL um, that goes up before it deploys into production or even staging. Uh, and so we're gonna scan against that and that's using that CI environment slug to generate a random URL for it. Let's just make that our URL. And looks like we need that in quotes. All right, so that should be all we need to include the accessibility job. Uh, and just to cover again really quick what that's doing, uh, we're using the Pali open source engine to scan against the URLs that are passed in. And it's gonna result in an HTML report that uh, details any of the uh, accessibility issues that are found as using the WCAG2 standards. Uh, to do that. Um, there's other ways that you can customize and use other engines along with Pally. Uh, I'm not gonna expose any of that or talk through any of that functionality today. We'll save that for a future walkthrough. Let's go ahead and just create our merge request. And we'll get this build kicked off. All right. While that's building, I'm gonna pause the video just so we don't have to stare at each other. Uh, and we'll be right back when the pipeline finishes up. Hey, I've got a green pipeline, we're back. Um, and I have a green pipeline. So you can see in the pipeline view, the accessibility job ran. And if we jump into that job, we can see what happened here. Uh, we used our URLs. Uh oh, didn't resolve. I'm gonna have an empty report, unfortunately then. Uh, but let's go ahead and pretend like it did something interesting. We can browse to our report. And it generates an HTML file, which in this case is empty. Uh, so we can go ahead and do some troubleshooting on that. Uh, the other thing that the team just added um, is this accessibility JSON. We're gonna be using that to compare what is happening in your branch, your source branch, to your target branch, and some feature functionality. You can read about that in the blog post that I'm gonna link to, as well as some of the other items that are coming up uh, for this category. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of troubleshooting and figure out maybe what happened here. Let's get into our merge request.
you can see the other thing that happens um, with the template if you're using it is it's using that expose as keyword um, that was introduced a few releases back. So you have really easy access into from the accessibility job, the accessibility reports. So it's a lot quicker to get to from the MR as opposed to having to dig into the pipeline and the jobs themselves. Um, but let's go ahead and look at that job again and see what is going on and why we got an error maybe. All right, so we grab the URLs and uh, it looks like it didn't include anything in the keyword there that we passed. So we may have put this job in the wrong spot. Uh, so we can do some troubleshooting on that um, and try to figure out how we can get this thing to generate. So I'm going to go ahead and look back at my GitLab CI YAML. I may have grabbed the wrong keyword as well, as far as putting things in the right order. Let me switch over to the edit view. It's just a lot easier to read. It looks like this should be working. I'm not exactly sure why it's not. Well, the other thing that we could do is just grab our staging URL and use that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go down that route and rerun this pipeline and we'll be back in just a minute. Hey, we're back and have a great pipeline again. And I've already peeked ahead, so I know that the job worked this time. Um, so we ended up getting a report, which if we browse to You'll see we have a populated HTML report this time. So this is the output from the accessibility scan today. This is available from the job. This is available from the MR. But because this is HTML, we can do something a little bit more interesting with this. Uh, I have probably sent the link to this blog post about publishing code coverage a dozen times to various folks, uh, either in the org or customers or shared on forums or tweets. Uh, so we're going to use this. Uh, I haven't done this yet before, but I'm pretty sure that this is going to work. So let's do it together. Uh, so reading through this, it looks like we have a pages job that we can add. We're going to do it in the deploy stage. I'm just going to copy this thing. And I'm going to keep working um, on the merge request that we're in. Let's go back into that MR. And after our deploy review, we should be able to get this thing out. Um, so using, just make sure this is all going to work. This is using the artifact path coverage and then switching it over to public. So let's make sure we have an artifact path reports. So we're going to need that. And this is looking at the accessibility template is where I grabbed that from. And change that in my pages. So from coverage to reports. I'm going to do a little tweak here to remove the only on master so that this generates a report for my MR. So we can see it a little bit quicker. You could obviously leave that as only on master if you wanted. Um, I'm actually going to do this only on merge requests.
so that it runs. And I'm going to change my dependency to the deploy review job or deploy review stage rather. That is what we need to do. Yep, okay, cool. So we got it. All right, we're going to run this and see what happens. As soon as this pipeline passes, we'll be right back. Hey, we have a green pipeline. We have an artifact deployed. Uh, but before we jump into that, I'm going to show you a couple of things that happened while uh, we weren't recording. Some errors that I made, just point them out um, so that you can hopefully avoid that if you're following this process as well. Uh, so I'm going to jump back into the GitLab CI YAML. Just look at the web IDE. First thing that happened was I totally forgot to include the stage that I had just added. Uh, so I added a deploy coverage stage. Uh, so that was a linting error that showed up uh, very first thing. Um, the next thing that I kind of forgot about or didn't realize because I haven't done this before is in my dependencies, uh, the dependency references back to the stage where it's going to pull the artifact from. Um, and that was set still to Maven build or whatever is in the blog. Uh, so I changed that to accessibility first, thinking it was the stage. It's actually the job. And to get the job, I had to jump back into the template, realize that the job is um, A11Y there. And once I made that change, everything worked. So we should be good to go. Uh, so now that I have this deployed, if I look in this project and look at the pages, um, I'll see that these pages are being served here, just down to a GitLab IO. And of course, I have a failure there. Uh, so that's unfortunate. Um, if this was working, of course, we would see our accessibility report. Uh, I'm going to wrap up this run through, though, uh, or the speed run, and try to get this working. I'm going to turn this into a blog post uh, since it's been a little bit arduous uh, just to show off what the eventual thing looks like uh, and reference back. I'll reference this project so you can look at a working GitLab CI YAML uh, and you'll be able to see your accessibility reports as you generate them. Hopefully this has been somewhat informative about how to put the accessibility job into your pipelines and in the future we'll have a blog post that's informative about how to publish those onto GitLab pages. So thanks, have a good one.